This video is about cooling by evaporation. What I have here is a copper calorimeter, basically just a copper cup, cup made out of copper. Underneath it, you can see there is a temperature sensor. That temperature sensor is connected to a, um, a readout, and that is currently giving us a reading of 23.8 or 23.7 degrees. What I'm now going to do is I'm now going to pour a little bit of diethyl ether into that copper calorimeter, not very much. You should be able to see there's just a little bit in the bottom there. And what will happen now, we hope, is that the diethyl ether will evaporate. If it's going to evaporate, it has to get the heat from somewhere, and it will get the heat from the copper calorimeter. So the copper calorimeter, just by being at room temperature, will be providing enough heat to the diethyl ether for it to evaporate. What that should do is it should cause the copper calorimeter to, to go down in temperature. So let's have a little look. And you can see, and it's only been a couple of seconds, that it's gone down already to 22.6 degrees C. So that is cooling by evaporation. The ether is evaporating. It has to take the heat from somewhere. It takes it from its surroundings, takes it by the thing that it's in, in this case, which is a copper calorimeter, and that causes temperature to go down. That's how sweating works. We sweat, the water goes onto our skin, the skin provides heat for the sweat to evaporate, and that cools us down.